Hello everybody, welcome. So I'm here today to talk about um, the bully archetype and I want to first begin by talking about the bully archetype and um, talk about um, my personal experience with the bully archetype. And um, what I said in the um, <clears throat> in my event that I published that I was going to be doing was that I was going to I wanted to really look at where the, arch the bully archetype is coming up in our culture. And so I'm going to tie that in together. So first I'm going to talk about, like I said, where the bully has shown up for me in my life. And um, being a shy little girl, I never realized that I, um, that I had the ability to be a bully. And as I got older and I started you know, really being more introspective and doing self-awareness work, I realized where the bully showed up for me. And it was a class that I took um, from Carolyn Mace where we were studying um, archetypal patterns and energies. And it was there that I learned that I, I had to confront this archetype that I had within myself and discover its shadow and its light and the purpose of how it served me in my life. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And um, so as a child, being really shy and feeling really scared about a lot of things and feeling vulnerable about who I was, being small and wearing glasses, and that wasn't something that you saw very often in children when they're small. Hi. Hi, Ruth. Um, and most children, you know, that they don't typically wear glasses and so me wearing glasses that was a vulnerability piece for myself and um, something that I always felt that made me different than other children so I felt like I had to um, protect myself and because being different as a child you tend to get picked on so that's those are things that happened for me so the only way that I was able to cope with that was to hold that inside and not let people see how scared I really was and um, began to fight back and not necessarily physically initially but more just from like it didn't bother me it didn't matter um, so that was a coping mechanism and then when my sister and I would argue because my sister was so quick with her tongue and I just couldn't keep up with her the only way that I could retaliate was to be physical and so then that again is how the bully archetype began to develop in my life and I really saw how it served me in so many ways um, because it 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 just allowed me to continue through life without really looking at what I was really afraid of. And I really see how that in my life has, um, you know, the bully archetype, how that has really, as I learn more about it, has helped me to develop more skill in how I deal with um, experiences in my life that come and my ability to what I can manage in my life. and. Um, I know it sounds like, oh, well, you know, typically we don't want to be a bully, and that's correct, but it, is, it isn't until that we can really identify that this is something that we're doing to protect ourselves and protect our fear that we can transform this energy into something that becomes actually useful. And this is something that, um, that we're seeing a lot in society, right, that we have seen. We've seen it with, we see it with children and in schools, and we're seeing it now in our government really being depicted in such a large way. And the, um, what I find very fascinating about that is that anytime we see something on such a large scale, it's like the, it's something that the culture has adopt, adopted. And really, in the world of, you know, um, <clears throat> of more the more esoteric and metaphysical world, this is something that is here for us to address, address and evolve. And um, so that is part, partly why, you know, we're seeing the the bully archetype so big right now in front of us and it isn't that we're all that there's just this one entity that is um, expressing it but it's really an opportunity for us to look at the bully archetype within ourselves and as an astrologer one of the things that I always like to look at is I like to see where the placement in someone's chart is where they carry their Mars energy and Mars in the astrology chart is your warrior and another word for a warrior in its shadow can be a bully archetype. So Mars is the is the archetype that in a chart that we embody and how we and how we go about expressing ourselves. So anytime 
who are actually wanting to get into action and do something. It is our Mars energy, the archetype of Mars, that we are um, initiating. And all of us play that out differently in our lives. For some of us, you know, it's more of a, a methodical way of getting things done and taking action. For some of us, it's more of a, of a, you know, we struggle with just keeping things in our mind and it makes it really hard for us to go out and get things done. Um, because we're doing it in our mind, we feel like we've actually done it. For some of us, like myself, it's more in a very feeling, feeling way that we move through life. And in that way, in that feeling realm, it sometimes it's like, you know, what gets me really going? You know, how can I really, really move and take action when I'm not in the mood to do it? So, you know, there's numerous ways that we all do it. But I think it's really important for all of us to really look at how we are using our energy of of that Mars action, you know, getting things done. Because for some people, it could look like um, that we are, you know, being pushy. And for other people's, we can it can be that we're being assertive. But, you know, as a culture, I think it's really important that we all examine this for each other because we're seeing it out there. We're seeing it big and we're seeing it loud, you know. And, and, I, and it's really important that we... Um, really instead of trying to feel instead of instead of being victimized by it and say that it's wrong which we know it is um hey dan um i think it's really important for us to own this energy within ourselves and i'm talking about the bully archetype for any of you that just um jumped on hi nancy um and i think that's i think anyway i I'm really excited to to be talking about this because this is an archetype like i said earlier that has been a an energy that i have um had a lot of experience with and like I said earlier it has served its purpose in my life and it's also kept me from really seeing aspects of myself that I have been in fear of so you know as we see that projected out into the world and as we see it in in relationships and in children that are struggling with you know bullies in their life um, you know a bully archetype in essence is someone who is afraid to be vulnerable and so what they're going to do is they're going to try to outpower someone who they perceive or you know view same thing as being less powerful than them and so that's their way of really holding on to their power and I know this is something that we all know but I just want to you know talk about this just to start the conversation about really looking at this from the perspective of not as pointing the finger, but as what are we here to learn from this archetype? Because it's a really powerful archetype and powerful and in, in not in terms of just how it can take us down, but powerful how and how it can empower us. Because it does, it does really force us to look at our own fears within ourselves. And how do we manage that energy for, for ourselves in our lives? And you know, <clears throat> when somebody is being a bully, you know, that's one of the things I know that for um, people that I've worked with and helping them work through people that are bullying them in their lives, one of the things that we really look at is like, so what is that person's fear? The other person on the other end, what are they afraid of? Because there's something that they're really afraid of that they're not willing to look at that um, that's making them act the way that they do. So <clears throat> as I said earlier, you know, this is something that is big and happening right now and I just want to invite all of you to <clears throat> take a look at that for yourselves, see how that feels for you, see where you're maybe expressing your you know, own bully archetype because I really do believe that we all have the ability and we all express it in ways it may not be as obvious and blatant as we see it in a very you know violent kind of um, that's kind of a strong word but I just think that's kind of what we're feeling right now we're feeling a lot of violence from this from this archetype in our lives you know it's feeling like that and by us transforming our own shadow of that it helps to change the reflection that we're seeing out there in the world so with that if um, somebody has a comment please type it in hi Melanie how you doing Hi Jeffrey, thanks for hopping on the um, on the live and um, I've been talking about the bully archetype a little bit, just kind of asking people to see where it shows up for them, telling my story of how it showed up for me in my life and 
you know, kind of a little bit my story and how um, I had to work with that energy and really, number one, admit to that I, that I was capable of that as well. So, okay, thanks for um, listening in, and I hope that you have a great day and this weather doesn't, you know, get too hectic for you out there. So, okay, take care. Bye-bye.